Hey everyone, today I'm sharing a really special recipe with you all. I'm sharing my family's favorite tuna salad sandwich. A buttery toasted sandwich with a loaded, super tasty tuna salad filling. It's delicious and easy to make and this recipe is special because I'm dedicating it to one of my favorite people in my YouTube family out there. Lucy, your constant support and sweet comments have always touched my heart. Sending you all my love and hugs. Thank you so much. So this sandwich is best made with tuna and water. You can use flaked tuna and water, which is what I normally use. I couldn't find it today, so I'm using chunks and water. So I have two cans and I've drained out all the water. We're also going to add two shallots. We're going to peel these shallots and then we're going to mince them. So I'm using this mini grater to mince the shallots directly into the tuna. I really recommend that you use all the ingredients specified for this recipe. It does add to the final flavor of the sandwich. So since we didn't use flaked tuna to begin with, we're going to have to flake up that chunky tuna with a fork. Next we're going to add one medium sized whole bell pepper, a green bell pepper. Um, we're going to grate it, but you don't want to grate it too finely to make a paste. You want a medium grate like this. And we're going to mix it into the tuna. The flavor of that green bell pepper really makes this tuna sandwich tastier. You don't really get chunks and big bites of the capsicum. And uh, you can't really tell that it's there. So even people who don't like green bell peppers tend to love the flavor of this in the sandwich. Next, I've added three generous tablespoons of good mayonnaise. I have a great recipe for homemade mayonnaise, sharing the link in the description. Once you've mixed the mayonnaise through, we're going to add just a dash of salt and a little bit of freshly cracked black pepper. Mix it all once again, and then you want to place this in the fridge uh, for a while while you prepare the rest of the ingredients for the filling. And for this, we need some cabbage. We're going to finely chop or use a grater to uh, chop your cabbage up. You need sort of like a coleslaw texture, uh, not long shreds, but finely chopped sort of like this. So I'm using red and regular cabbage. Together, you want about two to three cups. So less of the red cabbage there, but it does make a difference if you use two types of cabbage for some reason. And we're also gonna add one carrot, and I've used a grater to chop it similarly. We added two tablespoons or a little bit more of extra mayonnaise to the vegetables, and we're gonna mix this through as well. So to this, we're going to add in the chilled tuna mixture from earlier and then mix everything together really well. You can add more pepper if you like, more mayo if you like. So this is the filling for our tuna salad sandwich. Once it's ready, you want to stick it back in the fridge for at least an hour. The tuna salad sandwich always tastes better if the filling is nice and chilled. And when it's time to serve your sandwiches, we can toast our sandwich bread. For this, I have a grill pan and we're going to add some butter to it. And we're going to toast the sandwich bread. I'm using white bread here on one side till it's nice and toasted. And you get that buttery flavor, which really is one of the highlights of this sandwich. And we're only toasting one side of the bread. And now we can assemble. So to the untoasted side of the bread, add just a very thin layer of extra mayonnaise. And then on one slice of bread, add a good amount of that chilled tuna filling. On, on the other slice, we're going to add a couple of torn pieces of fresh lettuce that has been rinsed earlier and kept on kitchen paper towel to drain off all the extra water. And we're going to assemble our sandwiches like this. Cut through the middle and you can serve these delicious tuna salad sandwiches with a toasty buttery bread, um, slightly warm still and with that cold chilled filling. It's really tasty and I hope you try the recipe. If you do try it, let me know in the comment section down below. If you like the recipe, let me know. And if there are any types of recipes that you would like me to feature on my channel, please do let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.